burning some of that dirty smoke off on the old smoky before I get the food on there, y'all. We're at a high heat. So we're getting the, the smoke ready, cleaning it up a little bit. Getting that smoke ready. I'm getting rid of that dirty smoke right now, y'all. So we're letting all that dirty smoke burn off until we see a nice light blue smoke burning. Get all that dirty smoke out of there. That old smoky. Yeah, we don't want that dirty smoke on the on that meat, y'all. We want that clean, clean smoke. Got my fire to one side already. Burn off all that smoke there, y'all. As soon as the smoke starts to Lighting up, so we got the fire burning again. Getting that wood real hot to take away that that dirty smoke for me. Burning off that wood there, y'all. See the smoke starting to slow down a bit. So it's about to start burning clean here pretty soon. Got the pit at 375. Y'all, all y'all all know we're smoking at 250 anyway, so it's a little hot in there right now. Won't burn them things clean. See that smoke there, y'all? Starting to clean up. Can see some of that blue smoke towards the end of that dirty smoke. Starting to clean it up. a lot less smoke building up it's not building up too heavily no more
by now we're about 325 325 on there go ahead and let more of that smoke out real quick See our smoke starting to to blue up there, turn nice nice color. Wood still wanting to catch on fire, so you know it still got a little time to to burn off a little bit of that uh, wood a little for it ready to just chill and smoke. We're gonna let that wood burn off there for a good minute. Cheers, y'all. Charcoal's looking nice and white. Oh. Go ahead and close her over. See where we're at there y'all almost at 400 so yeah prepare that old smoky get it nice there y'all let it let it slow down let the heat slow down don't get too tempted to just throw the meat on once you see everything's looking ready let it really get ready Once you see it start slowing down here in a minute, it's gonna be ready. See a lot less smoke coming out. It's cleaning up real nice. pretty ready right there y'all so I'm gonna let it raise up one more time see a lot less smoke coming out now smoke is a lot cleaner I can see that blue now nice blue smoke right there you see that blue smoke coming out about, about 350 uh, but you see that blue smoke it's a lot cleaner it's not just smoking all crazy I could tell it's a more of a bluish smoke now she's ready to go I'm gonna get my ribs throw them on there let's see I'm gonna open up the lid See, a lot less smoke, not all crazy. It's about ready right there, y'all. So let me go ahead and grab those ribs. I'll come right back out. I'll, I'll throw them on there for y'all. We're gonna let them roll. 
So that's my smoking side. So I want my I want my hoe to be over here on this side. I'm going to cut it about one fourth of the way. And I got about half in the bottom. I might close that just a little bit too. Lower up that, get my heat a little bit slower. So I am using the, the small smoky, so I'll close that up a little bit. All right, we'll be right back with y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them ribs. I'll be back. All right, y'all. Got them ribs, walking them out right now. I did just use some uh, salt pepper. And a light coat of, uh, oh. Let's come back and fix that fan. And a light coat of, uh, a light coat of, bro. So you can see there, it's, it's not smoking at all no more, really. The smoke is so thin. Get them on there, y'all. All right, we got them on there, y'all. So I'm gonna just wipe my hands so I could bring out a closer view. So I do have them right here, off to the offset right there. So we're gonna close her up. I did use a mustard as a base. Close her up right there. And that's where I'm gonna leave her. So let's see where we climb to. Probably about 300. Twenty-five. I'm gonna leave the lid closed, y'all. Three twenty-five. Three thirty. All right. So you see, as you can see, there's no more crazy smoke coming out of there at all. I got them flies landing on my hand, man. That's when you, that's when you know it's good. We up there at 350, which is all right. We're about to slow down right now. Let them get some high heat, anyways. This is gonna be a, a pre-cook. That way, tomorrow I could throw them right back on, wrapped, and then unwrap. Since tomorrow I don't want to spend all day doing it, so it's basically just a pre-cook. So we're gonna let them get that 350. We're gonna let them go until the until the until the charcoal dies down. Just gonna leave it just like that, y'all. Alrighty, I'll be back with y'all. Thanks for watching this, y'all. I'm gonna just leave it closed this whole time. I'm not even gonna open it once. So next time I open it, that's when y'all will see me again. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Up, y'all. So it's been about a good 30, 35, maybe 40, 40, 45 minutes. We're barely creeping down to 250. You can see, got a nice temperature going, nothing crazy happening on the old smoky, y'all. I haven't even opened it yet. I told you I wasn't going to open it. So she's staying closed, y'all, until that temperature drops. And uh, tomorrow I could uh, wrap them up. I could, uh, I gotta see, when did I throw them on? I gotta remember where I threw them on. They do got that smoke flavor already. Tomorrow I'll give them some more. And yeah, just a little pre-cook, y'all. That way tomorrow I don't have to be doing all this. So, pretty cool. First time me trying to pre-cook. I've never really done a pre-cook. But I think it's gonna work out, honestly. Let the ribs uh, cool down to temperature before I store them in the fridge store them wrapped up 
depending on how long I think I've had them on there. If I think they need longer smoke, I'll give them another hour tomorrow. Depends on how long I have them here. I think they'll go probably another two hours and they'll be good enough to wrap. So you can see here, we're right at 250. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure I will hold that temp for quite a while, especially not opening it. So I'll be back with y'all. Thanks for watching. Laters.